Dear Journal, Recently, geocaching.com has announced that there are now 3 million active caches placed throughout the world. 3 million. <laughs> that is a lot. Is it bad that my first internal response is actually, that might be too many? But Skimbosh, you say, don't you want to find 10,000 geocaches? Isn't having more caches around better for you to achieve your goals? Well, yes, disembodied voice of my journal, I suppose it does. But now that I'm no longer considering myself a novice, I suppose I want to take a little pride in my geocaching journey. I don't care how it makes me look or sound, but something that really pets my peeves are thoughtless cheap caches that seem thrown down just for the sake of it. We're not looking at that here, we're looking at an unrelated whimsical cache based on the Russian nesting doll or Matroshka dolls. I don't know if I said that right. Because I don't have footage of thoughtless cheap caches because, well, why record that? The fact is, some footage in this entry doesn't match the subject matter. Anyway, I personally don't think this place doesn't have a cache should be the sole driving force for someone to put a cache there. I imagine the first lamppole cache or guardrail cache was very novel, but we probably don't need one at every Walmart, you know? Maybe some places just don't need a cache. There are lots of little patches of woods around me, but they are these depressing spots surrounded by industrial businesses. There's no view, no unique wildlife or structures or anything unusual or beautiful, but they all seem to have a dollar store Tupperware container placed in a fallen tree stump. I feel that the game wouldn't suffer at all if, say, half of those types of caches magically disappeared forever on the next full moon. I also feel that sometimes a series of poor caches can tie down an area bursting with creative hiders. Nothing like seeing a bunch of caches in a park or somewhere you haven't been before, and then find out that all of them are part of a power trail and they're all pill bottles. Quite simply, why celebrate putting more and more active caches out when it seems like there's a craptastic amount of caches that are watering down the hobby by not being maintained or even given the slightest amount of thought before being placed? Just quick, there needs to be a cashier to the film canister surplus store. Again, footage unrelated. I never found out what this structure was supposed to be in this cemetery, but hey, uh, there was a bison tube in it. So I probably sound elitist or pompous. Who died and made me God? Well, no one. I'm just expressing an opinion. In fact, I have more opinions than I have fines. But I'm sure there are people out there who disagree with me and enjoy racking up the numbers by whatever means necessary and would go diving in a dumpster for a magnetic key holder just to get the smiley. The hobby is what you make of it, Journal. My experiences might not be like others. I'm lucky to have a lot of crafty hiders around my way, so maybe I'm a bit spoiled. I would love for anyone viewing this entry to leave their opinions on the matter. Maybe, just maybe, think about me the next time you're about to hide a cache. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just this time, make sure I'm wearing pants. Thank you.